Hey, uh, it's Ethan again. Um, here is the Stat Checker project. I've showed this in several uh, recent videos that I've been working on. Um, but I wanted to show how you can make these uh, table uh, relationships. Well, uh, Mongo doesn't really have tables. It has these key value pairs. So let me start off by showing the uh, models that I have. So over here on the right, you can see I have uh, four different models, uh, four different uh, schema, basically. I have a category, an activity, a date, and a user. And so really what I wanted was for users to be able to log in. Um, and then I have this stat tracker. And initially I had it set up, and you may have seen one of my earlier videos where um, you know users would be able to track an activity. But I thought it would be more beneficial if users were able to track categories of activities. So instead of just tracking running and jogging and lifting weights separately, they might be able to track workouts and then have different activities nested within that category. In order to do that, I needed to create an association between the category and the activity so that when they log an activity, it would be, um, it would be associated with that category. I knew how to do that with SQLize and an SQL uh, database, but I wasn't sure how to do it with a document-based database like Mongo. So as you can see here, we've got the uh, category schema, and all I really have is the string, um, but it is required and it is unique. And the reason I did that was so that um, if, they, uh, the, uh, if they order uh, or enter another category, I don't have a drop down or buttons for it, but it's all by user input. So whatever category they put in, they put the same one uh, more than once, it will be unique. And then it is required so that Mongo uh, we'll, we'll have to include that in there. Um, and then in the uh, activity category, or in the activity schema, so I have a little bit more in this one. I have the activity name, which is also a string. Um, I have the metric to uh, measure the activity by. Uh, date is being logged separately so that I can pull up just a, a, a list of the activities by dates. And so I'm going to associate that, um, that acti or the date with the activity later. But right now I've just done the activity in the category. So down here, the third one I have, so I have activity name, and this is still an activity. I have activity name, metric, and then category. And so I, uh, category uh, is a string, and it's referencing this category uh, schema over here. And so that's really all you need to do to create that association is, uh, is have uh, this. And, and you can actually reference this by, uh, by a string like I have here. So that way the, um, the, the category is referenced by the name uh, of, the, of the category. Or, uh, like this in the activities, you can actually reference it by the object ID. So you can do it several different ways. Uh, so this is the date category, and it's referencing activities by the, the object ID of, that, um, of that, uh, that, that activity. So there's several different ways that you can reference that. Um, then here in the app.js file, I have my git request. Um, where I'm finding one activity or one category, uh, uh, and this is in the activity or the categories uh, get request, and then um, I'm having I'm using the uh, finding the activity type by uh, the user input. Now, right here, if you wanted to, uh, and I mentioned this in the post, but if you had my category field is really simple. It only has one entry, really, uh, and these are just kind of the lowercase required and unique is just defining um, that act or that that category. But really, it's just a string. But you could have more fields uh, in there if you needed to, uh, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and if you did that, then right here after the uh, find, you might do something like a dot populate. And um, that would uh, populate the different fields in the category if you needed to do that. Uh, because mine was so simple, I didn't need to. But you can find the documentation on that uh, online. And it's pretty simple. You're basically just putting uh, that, that additional um, uh, thing in there for, for dot populate. So it's not too hard. I just haven't really done it here because I didn't need to. 
Um, anyway, uh, and so then if you if we come over here, you can see how this works. Uh, so I've got my uh, stat tracker. Uh, let me make sure I've got this uh, running properly. Um, so we'll put a category in here. We'll put workouts. And we can click on that. We can go to activity. Uh, we'll do running. And then we'll do, um, you can see I need to make some changes to the mustache file here. Uh, but uh, we'll do walking. Uh, yeah, so I, I broke it. Um, and then we'll do uh, swimming. And if we go to Uh, this is uh, Robo 3T, and that's a good way to view um, your collections in um, uh, in MongoDB. So you can see here, I only have one category, and that's workouts. And if we go here to activity, uh, I've got three activities, and it has successfully um, associated those activities with the category workouts. So it's working just like we wanted wanted to. Uh, now the next step for me is just finishing the mustache file. Uh, you can see here um, I've got some uh, problems with it displaying right, but that's not a problem for another day. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.